hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series and this is the continuation of the previous video okay so guys i have just added few items in the cart and go to checkout so guys we have some basic fix over here like when you add any number it just loads the page or refreshes the pages by ajax request and here you see it's adding it why because we have written the condition like that let me just show you so this is our checkout show.php file of controller here you see that we have written the code okay so plus equal to whenever the page loads it just set us that so what we can do you just need to copy this and add here equal to zero so in the beginning whenever page reloads it just make to zero and then calculate the amount so now and now let's phone number so if you see nothing happens and now guys on this phone number or any of this input if you type any one request it sends the ajax request okay so if you type here like give space n and it will send the ajax request for that so so guys to skip this sending each request on the input type so for that you can just get back to your form and add the differ okay so here is my full name just add model dot differ so it stops sending each request okay it will just send on the submit so when you click on submit of your product when you click on place order that time only it will send the request with the all the input fields so make sure you are adding in all your wire colon model dot differ that's it now guys let's get back yep so this was the first fix issue guys and now next when we place an order so at that time what we have to do we have to decrement the quantity okay so guys let's get back to our place order function okay so here is a place order function and this is the cart items we are looping and creating the order items right so while creating the order item we want to decrement the quantity okay so for that you can just use this a simple condition if else condition here if else and let's take dollar cart item cart item first we will check the product color id so product underscore color underscore id check when it is not equal to null when it is not null that time you have to decrement the quantity so let's copy this and use a relationship of product color product color function and use a where condition so if you don't find this you have to just set up the relationship let me just go to this card model first okay let's move so here is our model and card.php so you can find that we have a product color relationship okay so you just need to copy this get back and paste here as simple guys okay so we paste and use a where condition and check with the id the product color id and paste here and then guys you are going to decrement decrement function and now quantity so this is a quantity column so which quantity column your product colors table not the cart it's a product color table column quantity and how much you are going to decrement that we have written in the cart quantity itself so let's copy this cart item and paste here and type quantity so same let's copy and paste below for the product decrement so let's go to our relationship of product not product colors it's just product let me show you again over here in cart.php we have a product relationship that is belongs to and you just need to check the product product id okay 
and then again go to the quantity column and cart item of quantity all set guys and now before testing this uh let's go to our checkout show blade.php add the button like we are not showing when we click on this when we click on this place order we don't know what's happening placing order what what's going on so for that guys we will add a placeholder type okay so let me just show you here this is the wire colon click order and now here let us set that use a span tag push this code inside and now guys you just need to write one wire colon target equal to double quotes so on what target your cod order cash on delivery order click you have to check and while it is loading you just need to remove wire colon loading remove and now let's copy this same and paste below here you should mention placing okay placing order and make sure you are removing this done guys and i just want to disable this button not this button all the buttons how many buttons are available here so cash on delivery online payment online pay now okay every button i am going to disable so for that wire colon loading dot attribute that is attr equal to just type disabled disabled as simple guys now let's copy this so i find here two buttons let me paste here and one button we just now pasted and one final payment button okay paste here done so let's save and now let's place the order and see the quantity decrements or not okay and here i fill the phone number okay cod and let's click place order placing order perfect order placed successfully and it redirected to thank you page cool so now guys if you want to just show a message here also you can just set a session flash let me just show you that over here let's go on this when you're placing the order right you can set a message like session function of flash message where you tell the message and as simple you send it order place successfully and this message you can show in a if condition on the thank you blade file h5 tag alert and this should be used in a if condition if session function of message okay and open and close calibrate session of session of message all set guys so if you require you can use here also okay so let's close this we don't require this thank you blade and yep let's go and check whether the quantity is decremented or not okay so for that let's go to our order items okay so this is my placed order like id number four it is id number four so that order id four is here so this last three rows are id number four and we have stored the quantity here let's go to the products table oops we didn't check in the beginning itself so let us again add some products and let me increment this blue shirt to two quantity okay quantity updated here you see four three one seven nine let's check out here you get four three one seven nine and yep guys let's fill all the details and yep some address 
and let's place order so place order placed order placed successfully and it's redirected to thank you page and you see that order placed successfully that alert message also you can verify okay from the thank you page let me just go to that thank you page here you have you can just add alert success okay save it now guys you can get back and yep let's check our order table so here you see order id 5 the last order which we have placed now let's go to order items and in the order items we have to check out for the id number 5 this is the order id 5 and this order id 5 has a product id with the color id okay so this color id also is there so first let us check with the product id 6 and 1 so let me just move top here is a product id 1 it has four quantity product id 6 it has three quantity okay so when we refresh this it should change to three and this to change to two so let's refresh perfect so it has changed guys over here quantity three and it has two so now coming to this uh, product five with the product color id okay it has its own quantity right so for that let's go to this product table product id five and you move to your products color table and you see that product id 5 these two colors are there but the color id is this okay so it has 10 quantity okay so this 10 quantity when we refresh it should change it so right now you see that we have taken two quantity right so it should become eight so let's refresh or browse it here you see that is changed to eight perfect so guys it has decremented perfectly so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with the new topic so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share